Welcome to the seven minute video. Emily, who's never really used the Type 4 before, is going to do our seven minute workout using the Type 4 X. Simply holding the bungees close to her chest like that and sliding them through the channel gets you the idea that both the arm and the leg bungees are there to help you and also you can manipulate them. Here she is manipulating them with the rib shifting side to side and really reaching through and really punching through each side of the stretch. Here we take the hands into the first loop for our first cardio, which is simply lifting the chest up through the arms, through the length of the arms to help the foot loops under the feet let you bounce. You go on bouncing for a very long time, nice and high, varying the height, varying the speed, because your torso is lined up and supported over your hips. Here we stop and we take the bungees across the chest, across the belly, and hold the outer uh, um, hand loop. We're going to go inside the leg bungees to triangulate them. So there is tension across the front of the body, ribs moving right into the cross that's in the front, and the back body moving to the cross of the bodice that's always there. In a lunge like this, you can feel the support, the help of the arms coming forward with the cross and then pulling the palms back to get your foot back. And there's always an up. There's an up to go down and there's an up to come back. Here Emily actually pushes her arms forward and then pulls the hands back, pushes the arms forward and helps the leg come right back to center because she's pulling the arms back, making the lunge a much easier and uh, dynamic exercise. With the jump, it's simply 30 pounds of pressure going well over her head, helping the arms to do as much work as the legs. The bodice holding again, the foot loops up underneath your arch, and here a sense of just oh, what the torso can do, shift side to side, not going all the way overhead. Maybe the bungees are not working as hard, you're not working as hard, you can find this half jack pretty easily. On the next exercise, the bungees are in something called a ballet bar that envelopes the, the, the torso inside. We create a resistance with the leg bungee out to the side, again triangulating it, and if the arm stays straight there and then comes across the, the torso, you can really feel these leg lifts in a very strong way. And the ballet bar, the two arms, uh, the two uh, uh, arm bungees out to the side are creating a, st a stable place to move from and then back to. The hand is helping you, the leg bungee uh, hand is helping you lift the leg. If the hand stays straight, you got a nice support. You don't twist at all if you keep your arm out to the side and the, in the, during the karate kick. You're going to try now the other side, so slide them around. You've got the ballet bar, two hands in the outer loop supporting your torso. Triangulate the leg, you got to pull that leg bungee across, so you've got lots of room to move that leg as high or as low as you want. But you've got stability here. So lift the knee, the karate chop lifts and lean and up and down because the arm is helping you do these moves. Again, the foot loops, pulling up the foot so that you know where your foot is in space. Creating a lot more balance, even for a beginner tie four wearer. We simply now are doing the same double arm, but the bungee cord is pulled long on one side and pulled across the back. This is the back ballet arm. The arm goes, the bungee cords go behind the shoulder. This huge stretch across the back of the body and with the triangulated leg, you have to pull up against the straight arm there, down toward the leg, down toward the floor and use your abdominals to bring that up. You're actually pressing through the hand and using your upper back each time you return arm over head. A little bit of a, an adjustment here where you take the leg bungee in the hand, the other one, yes, and then you take a hold of 
the, the straight arm resists the lifting of the foot and the crunch happens in the middle of the body. Free arm to fly up and down and notice the rib coming toward the hip joint there in your standing crunch. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Drop the bungees, throw them behind your back and collect them on the other side. Behind the back, both hands in the outer loop and the arm goes overhead so that the back of the body is engaged. Pulling the torso, pulling the um, inside of the thigh toward the knee, toward the elbow, you have a lot of resistance from the back of your body, a lot of resistance to that action. Here, the action is helped because the free arm comes overhead and you're lifting, the, lead, the knee is lifted because of the triangulation, the triangulation of the bungee cord. And it's all middle core body, rib coming down to the hip joint. Oh, just to, adjusting it just to notice what, what you can do, and can, evening them out, making sure that the hands are even. And here we have a rotation. Right hand pulls the right rib around, left pulls the left rib around, and just freely swing from side to side. Also getting a good view of what your hips can do, right? How still you can be or how much you can move in these actions. Aware of what the foot is doing because the foot loop once again is lifting the arch up, pushing it down. Now everything very still, lower body and upper body swinging side to side. The arms going much like a helicopter might, side to side to side getting a lot of rotation in the rib cage. Calming yourself now to drop the hands and go into arm, arm rotation. <clears throat> and what lifts you up easily is that strength and stretch of the bungee. Feet nice and tight, close together. Feeling those arches lift up, getting that third toe right over the middle of the, the uh, arch, right over the third toe there. Stabilizing that ankle work and freeing up the shoulder joint after all that twisting. Really aware of the balance with the tie four.